off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Everything with you since you're also the owner So I'll go ahead and do that now I assume you guys are gonna go through us for the damages, correct? Since we damaged your car, correct? Correct, yeah, I don't want it to go through our insurance at all Definitely, I don't blame you. <laughs> um, let's take a look here. No, I don't have any questions. You guys are doing a great no, job. Fantastic. B basically what happened is they sent us a message online right now telling us, hey, I hit their car. And we said, okay, good enough. We'll go ahead and take care of your damages. So that's kind of how we came to this conclusion. Okay. And that's why we're taking care of everything. Perfect. Let's take a look here. Very good. And your vehicle's still drivable, correct? Oh, still yeah. Confirmed. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, good. 2014 Ford Fusion. Correct. All right, we'll begin that process now. So in terms of getting your vehicle repaired, you may go anywhere you like to get the vehicle repaired, okay? Okay. Um, we do want to let you know we have what's called an Auto Repair Express Shop, where basically you drop off your car, we hand you the keys to an enterprise rent-a-car, and you're on your way. At the very end of the repairs, you would go ahead and return the rental car. We have locations across the country, including in your area, in Issaquah. Yeah. Uh, we, we have tomorrow at 9.30 at Calibre Collision, Issaquah. Would that possibly work for you? So we would take the car to the Enterprise, or no, we would, how would that work? So basically you drop off the car at the Auto Repair Express Shop, but Enterprise is actually on site. Oh. So you hand us your keys, we hand you the keys to an Enterprise rental car, you'd be in and out of there within 20 minutes. I and Geico guarantees the work, and so does the shop for the lifetime view in the vehicle. Okay. Would that be something that would interest you? Uh, yeah, what time could we drop that off? So the appointment's for 9.30, so oh. as long as you get there by 9.30, you'd be able to go to the appointment. What questions do you have for me? Um, nothing. You have made this so easy. My husband was contacting a, a place to get the car fixed, but this is way easier. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to simplify the process. Many customers from both my our insurance and the other party had said, Hey, we wanted something more simplistic, yeah. easier for us. And we came up with this program to try to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and email you all this information. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 930. You may even get a call from Enterprise before trying to get you into a, uh, making sure that the car that they get you into is something that you would like. Okay. Um, Fantastic. Well, I really appreciate your time and I hope you have a great day. All right, you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow. All right, let me give you guys hi. I'm going upstairs to straighten my hair and get ready to go to... I gotta go. Let me explain this along the way here. Um, I have to go and get my hair done. Um, I just finished editing and getting kids off to school. Um, but this morning when I dropped Ashley off at the bus stop, um, me and one of the other moms were walking back and we always sit outside and we talk until she has to get on a conference call. <laughs> and uh, so we were just kind of just standing there and she's like, I've got four minutes, I've got two minutes. And then I looked over and there was a paper on Kaylee's car, AKA our car. And um, I was like, oh, that's weird. So we went and grabbed the note off the car and someone had hit the back tail light <laughs> on the car. And I was like, are you kidding me? But the person had left not only their insurance information, they had gone home, photocopied it, brought it back to put on our car, but they also left a note saying, we hit your car. We've done the damages. We will take responsibility. Here's our insurance card. So I just took it upon myself to go ahead and put the claim in this morning. I literally probably put that claim in I probably got it all through at 10 a.m., maybe even 9.30, because bus is like 9-ish. It's 10.48, so barely an hour, and they have already contacted me. <laughs> they made this so easy. Jason was contacting another place that we've had our cars fixed at before, but it's three cities away. And it's fine, it's doable. Okay, and this is Enterprise. They're already calling me about their rental. Hang on. Hello? Hello, hi there, is this uh, Dana? Yes, it is. Oh, hi there, Dana, my name is Calvin. I'm calling Enterprise, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm doing good, doing good, thanks okay. for having me. So, <laughs> I got off the phone 
with the insurance company when I was downstairs with you. I walked upstairs, set the camera down, again, started talking to you about it, and Enterprise called. And we have it set up to get the car fixed at 9.30 tomorrow morning. I arrive at the car repair place and they immediately call Enterprise and either shuttle me over to the place to get the rental car or they'll bring the rental car to me. And I know where the Enterprise is. <laughs> it's like right down the street from where the repair place is. I can't believe how easy this process is. Jason hasn't even been able to hear back from the other repair place to make an appointment time. So in the, like in just an hour, we have it all covered. And even if it takes them a couple days to fix the car, like if it takes them a while to get the, the cover light, you know, like the exact kind or whatever, we have a rental car. So I likely will just drive the car myself. I don't know, we have to decide that. Okay, they can take my car to school. Quite the process, so let me, um, I did take photos of it. Kaylee has the car right now, but here is a photo <laughs> of the car and the damage. It's very minimal damage, but at the same time, I'm not gonna cover the cost of fixing my light if I didn't cause the damage. So that is easy to fix, quite the process. So now I am going to hurry and get my hair straightened. I don't care if it looks super fabulous. I just need it to be straight in order to chop it all off. And I'm not gonna color my hair today. I still have some choices to make in regards to getting my hair highlighted. I might, at a future time, actually have time to go down to Utah. My battery's flashing. I might have an opportunity to go to Utah this summer by myself. Maybe I'll take a kid with me. It just depends. I have an event that I might go to by myself for a few days and have some time with my sisters. We will see. We have a potentially busy summer now. We'll talk here in a minute. Okay. Okay, so I'm on the phone with my sister. Erin, say hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, we've been chatting on our way here, and she was just talking about her hair, and she is not going to dye her hair this summer, correct? Oh, now you're going to document that. So now I am. Can, I'm uh, doing that for Kathy. Oh. Her roommate. Go. Um, I think that what I'm going to cut off is the last of the highlights that I've had on my hair. The blonde is on the lower half of my hair. Yeah. And so I will like start to really see like the true color of my hair. Yeah. And I don't have too many grays. I mean, I, it's just like on one hand, yeah, there's lucky. like, yeah, but it's dark and I don't like the dark. Yeah. Um, so anyway, but I'm going to go in. And this is my before. Erin can't believe that I'm gonna chop it off, but I think it's gonna feel yeah. really good for the summer. And my hair grows Dude, like- you haven't had that short of hair since like you got married. Um, yeah, well, I've, I've gone butch. You forgot my butch haircut. Wasn't that right after you got married? No, that was when we were trying to get pregnant with Chelsea, so 13 years ago. Oh, Still. So, all right, well I gotta go in. All right, go in, good luck. I will show my friends. Um, my after and I will text Aaron an after when okay. I get done. I can't believe I'm, okay. it's gonna feel so good though. It'll be great for summer. You'll It'll be great for it. summer. Yeah. I just can't afford to get it highlighted. No more sweaty neck. I, I can't handle a sweaty neck. I will straighten I it as long as I don't have to have a sweaty neck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Back in a minute. Okay. Here's the after. I don't, I don't love how she styled it. This side is actually kind of cute. Um, but we're gonna go home and I'm actually gonna shower because I am so itchy. She had to cut so close to my neck. Um, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna wash it and we're gonna straighten it again. I remembered on my way home that I have all those shoes to not donate. So I'm waiting in line. I don't want um, you guys to think that I don't like my haircut. I just am so itchy and I don't want it to get back to my hairstylist that I don't like it. I'm so itchy. And she will even agree that this side wasn't flipping the right way. <laughs> so I am gonna go home and shower. See, I've got like a tissue blocking my seat belt because I've got hair all over my shirt. I can feel it all the way down my back. I'm just not gonna enjoy the day if I don't go and wash it all off. Okay. It was pretty fast to shower, dry my hair, and straighten it. I think all in, I was maybe 40 minutes or so. 
So not bad, not bad for a short summer haircut. So if I do feel like doing my hair to go out for a nice date night or girls night or something, I know that I can, I can get it um, cleaned and straightened up in order to go out, but also that I'm not gonna feel so hot. Like it's not hot on my head. Also, we determined that the bulkiness that was at the top of my hair, and even in some ways the darkness. I mean, you can see right now, like it's not as light. Abby thought that I actually got a highlight, um, but I didn't. Uh, we think it's from my shampoo. That stupid Shea Moisture shampoo that I got from Costco to get that 22,000 point bonus from Fetch. Yeah, that will be being donated. <laughs> I don't even want my girls to use it because um, she's like, yeah, that's for like ethnic hair <laughs> that needs moisture on their scalp. You do not, at least not at that level. So I'm a little hot from just doing the blow dryer and the straightener, um, but I do like it. Chelsea, I looked, uh, I blew it again. Um, it's actually not blowing the breaker. I'm, I'm blowing this surge protector. So pull your AC into a surge protector. <laughs> Chelsea has not noticed, even though I went into her room to say hi to her when she got home from school, but Abby noticed right away, so we'll see. Everyone knows I'm getting my hair cut today, to be fair, um, but we'll see what everyone else thinks about it. Um, I could, did Abby, ow, ow, <laughs> like, I thought Kaylee came home. Maybe she came home on the bus. Um, when Kaylee's car does get here, we will show you the damage to her car in person. Ow, that really twitched twisted my knee um, but I'm gonna get my water I have my other one in a car I've got a good routine with one here and one in the car and I'm gonna work on the computer for a bit and then um, I don't actually have any plans tonight but it was kind of fun to have my hair done <laughs> so we'll see not like you haven't had your hair that short but like she said it's different I'm surprised that they actually did it good <laughs> She's a good hairstylist. <laughs> I just had to time. suck up the payment. Because I last time was bad. Yeah. It was really bad. Had, uh, and it's not bad on the back either. Look at it in the back. Can you show me the back? Yeah. Yeah, show the back. The back, the back is good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. You had a fake, not a fake fire alarm, but there's a fire oh, alarm. You had a fire alarm at school? But it wasn't a drill. Oh, so. They did have a little bit of a fire or yeah. something that set it off. It was like smoke from the smoke and our teacher was like, when he asked her teacher, she was like, oh, well, I haven't checked my email, so I don't know if it's a drill or not. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. What else are we doing? Let's turn that off. I'm getting kind of cold. Why is the door open? I don't know. Because you didn't shut it tight. It doesn't shut tight. All right. Ugh. There's all the surprises tonight. Oh, this one's not a good surprise. And show Ashley. Show her the damage. Someone hit her car. Right here. This way better. One of our neighbors must have. But we're already going to go get it fixed tomorrow. We have a rental car that we get. That's worse than Dad's. <laughs> I know it is worse than Dad's. Luckily, it is just the light. Um, there is a little bit of a. Yeah, see, that just, is just paint from their car. There's nothing actually that means damaged they got there. Damaged. But this is super easy to fix. If they have that light, they'll be able to replace that in like would no time. Would you fix the... Um... No, because that didn't get damaged from the, the accident. That'll just get fixed. I don't know that you can tell from the outside of the car. Both Ashley and Kaylee have asked if it means we can fix this. There's a crack here, split like that. Goes all the way across over there. And then there's a new one that comes over here and then splits here and goes up there. This one connects down here, but priorities. This one didn't happen with an accident, so we have to pay for this windshield to get fixed. So not quite now, but two accidents in one week. That's crazy, huh? Except for one of them weren't bad. Also, um, I am not a Diet Coke person. I don't like the taste of it, but they messed up today when I went and got one on my way home from a haircut. It is not sitting well with my body. Clearly, my body does not like whatever fake sugar they put in that. Mm -mm. I am not gonna be a Diet Coke person. Not at all. Meanwhile, 
I just realized I don't have a creamy for tonight and I'm really sad. So I thought I would bring you along on my little journey to make a new one. Fair Life Milk, PB Fit Powder, which I will use <laughs> a little one and the big one. And a little bit of pudding. Where's my sugar-free one? And then I've also heard you can use like hot cocoa mix, but I think I need a little bit more than what that one has in it. All right, so I usually make these in batches to make it go be more efficient. Charles, can you get the other fair life? And oh, pretty good. Don't want it quite full because you're going to put powder in it as well. Then I need two scoops of the PB Fit powder in each one because it's technically like two servings. See, this is why I knew I needed I need the other one opened up. Oh dear. Okay, so that's like one scoop. Maybe more than one scoop. I'm actually going to just pour it into here because it'll be easier to scoop with the bigger scoop. I don't even know if there's a scoop in this one. Oh, there wasn't. Perfect. So I can scoop with this. Oh. Nor Chelsea's making cereal behind me. Yep. I think I just need like half another scoop. I don't think this is going to be very much at all. So I'm just going to do the rest of it in there. Probably more than I would normally do. Okay, I've got um, pudding powder in both of them now. And then I just take a mini whisk. And you think this is small? I actually have a smaller one. This one came in a cute little tea towel set, but I need the bigger one. So I just go ahead and mix it up really, really good. Okay, and they're all mixed up. I actually might go get some more. The fill line isn't quite full, and I do like to maximize how much I get into these. We'll take this guy to the recycle and grab a new one. Meanwhile, I thought I had like caught up laundry. No, there's a load. Here's about two loads of towels. That just came out. That is just done. And that's about to be moved. That's ridiculous. Okay, got the new one out of this fridge. Go top them off. And that is done. <laughs> so now I have to do more laundry. You gotta give me something back. You don't think before you And then to freeze them and I can't have any more until tomorrow night but I do have like a fourth of one <laughs> that I can finish tonight it's like so it's not very much at all number two as you can see we've cleared lots of space for our precious ninjas what's your reaction to my hair super cute because you had it back yeah it kind of so looked it like it was like maybe it was going over your shoulder then you like popped your head up and it was like bing it's there. It's cute. What do you, you like it? Yeah, I do. Good. I you had should. to take a shower when I got home because I had hair all over me. Oh, I bet. Yeah. And she kind of styled it and stuff, and it yeah. just wasn't quite me, but. Oh, oh, she did it. Yeah, she kind of curled it, BG ways, but it. You don't want to? No, it just didn't work on one side. Oh. And I had enough hair all over me that I was like, I had to shower. Yeah. I couldn't, like, leave it for the day. Fair yeah. But it looks good. But you like it? Oh, yeah, super cute. Thank your you. little bing. <laughs> I don't know what I did. No, but... no, you just turned your head because at first I thought it was just draped over your shoulder. But then you turned and went like that. Uh -huh. like, yeah. So it looks really good. All right. Well, you like have. when we were in college, so kind of. Yeah, it was like similar this. to length to when we were in college. Yeah. yeah. That's what Aaron said, too. Yeah. Um, your dinner's on the stove. Oh. Your wife is wonderful. I have to leave in 10 minutes, so I have to hurry and eat. <laughs> Love you. Love you, too. Oh, and you can go look at Kaylee's damaged car. As Ashley oh. said, wow, this is more damaged than dad's. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well. <laughs> she said it, not me. <laughs> easy, easy on our tiptoes, undercover.